Okay, so we were uh, talking about uh, solving the same example using the Kramer rule. Uh, sorry, uh, using the Gauss Jordan elimination. For example, what we do in Gauss Jordan elimination, we convert all of these diagonals into one. We convert, for example, this matrix, we will convert into an identity matrix by using the same elimination technique which will be having diagonals 1 and the all other members 0 okay so let's solve the same question by using uh, Gauss Jordan elimination technique okay so I'm going to put this matrix A and B here okay so this is the matrix A and matrix B for example now I want to the first thing I want to make this uh, diagonal 1 so how I can make this one I should divide this equation by 3 okay control C and do all the operation here and here as well okay so this is now 1 and now I want to make this 0 so this minus this equation multiplied by 0 0.1 because this is the 0 0.1 and if you multiply this will become 0 and do the same operation on these as well okay for example f62 minus this multiplied by 0 0.1 okay and it's the same and the same here so okay now I want to make this one 0 how I can make this one 0 this term minus uh, this term minus uh, this one multiplied by 0 0.3 okay control C and control V we will do the same operation here as well so now we have all these elements 0 and this is 7 now you can convert you can convert this one into 1 for example just let me control C and here I will say control V but I should just paste the values so if I click here so it will be just the values okay and this is 0 okay and here this divided by this cell itself I will get 1 okay and this cell divided by this because the same operation I have to do on all these uh, cells okay now this is already zero how I can make uh, this one zero how I can make this one zero by for example this will be equal to minus this minus this cell multiplied by zero minus 0 0.19 or you can say multiplied by this cell itself so it becomes 0 do the same operation here for example uh, what operation we have done here let's do it here and here but again it should it should be g67 minus g71 multiplied by g60 not 7 but um, G because here I just want to make sure F67 for example this cell is equal to F67 minus F71 into this so here we should having F767 okay because this should be multiplied from and then it should be subtracted from okay again here it should be not I this should be F 67 okay I hope I'm, I have not done any mistake now we want to make this element as 0 so how we can make this element as 0 for example this one minus this cell multiplied by 
this cell so it will become zero the same operation we will do here as well and here as well but uh, instead of G65 it should be also this should be okay G71 uh, multiplied by not G65 uh, it should be GF65 okay and here also it should be F65 okay so now in the third operation we will make this one zero okay we have one here we have zero zero so just you can type here we have zero one and zero so now uh, how we can make this one we will divide this cell by this cell we will get one and here we will divide this cell by this cell so we will get seven and okay now we want to make this cell zero how we can make this cell zero this one for example this the cell minus one multiplied by the same okay and the same operation we will do here as well for example uh, okay control C control V but this should not be uh, this should be for example this L minus um, okay I 75 but multiplied by G71 yes so and then here we will how we can make this 0 this minus uh, this cell multiplied by this cell so it will become 0 the same operation we will do here so instead of I70 it should be this value okay so if you see here we have just converted this matrix into an identity matrix and it became the answer this is x1 this is x2 and this is x3 and same answer we got here as well this is x1 x2 and x3 x1 x2 and x3 so what is the idea behind all this i explain you again for example this is a matrix so what we do we convert this matrix into an identity matrix like this and we get the answer but the procedure is uh, not that simple as it goes elimination because we also make the diagonals uh, one and up, up and up below the elements are made zero for example if you see here how we can make this element as one so just divide the whole row by three so if you divide the whole this row by three you will get this row okay so once you have this row how you can make this one zero just subtract this row multiplied by 0 0.1 and then subtract from this row for example in goes elimination it is the same thing i mean we in goes elimination we divide this by by the element itself and then we multiply and the same thing we are doing here as well so this first you make all this row one how you can make all this row one by dividing by three so you will get this element and then you will subtract the, you will multiply this row by 0 0.1 and you will subtract from this row so you will get this row okay for example this, if you see here this is the same thing uh, e62 subtract minus this multiplied by 0 0.1 or e62 so the same thing is here as well and here whatever procedure you do you should do on all these elements and then the same way you can make this zero uh, this row minus this row multiplied by 0 0.3 the same thing is done here if you see here so now all these elements are zero and now in the next step we will make this one the second element as one how we can make this second element one by dividing the whole this row by 7.0033 so if you divide this whole row by 7.0033 you will get one and you will get these values 
now you have one so how you can make this one zero and this one zero the same way for example how you can make this one zero just multiply this row by 0 0.19 and subtract from the same row again just multiply this row by 0 0.19 and subtract from the same row you will get the zero if you see here I'm multiplying this by 0 0.19 and I'm subtracting from the same row you will get zero here and whatever procedure you do here you should also do on this this as well and this as well okay and then you want to make this one zero how you can make this one zero again this minus for example this minus this multiplied by again this so please see here for example f65 minus f65 multiplied by one because if you multiply one by the same value you will get the same answer and then you subtract you will get zero so whatever procedure you have done on this you have to do on all all the row this is zero so there is no need to do any procedure here because if you multiply and with anything it will become zero so again you should do it here uh, and here as well so in the in the last step we convert this one uh, into we want to convert this one into one so we will divide the whole row by 10 so we will get one here and we will get seven here okay now we have we want to make this one zero and we also want to make this one zero how we can do that for example this row minus this row multiplied by this value so if you see here g71 minus this multiplied by g71 so it will become zero and then the same way if you do it here it will become zero and the same procedure if you do here and here as well you will get the answer so this is how we convert the same matrix into identity matrix and this method has been uh, use for computer solutions you can use this method for any number of unknowns for example if you have a bigger equations you can make a bigger like if you have 5 by 5 you can convert the 5 by 5 equation into uh, into an identity like uh, for example 1 and then if you have more so let me show you and here 0 and here 1 and then here 1 and then it will be 0 0 0 and then zeros here so if you have 5 by 5 equation convert into a 5 by